So hey guys, Beelon K back out again with another banger. So today we're in the kitchen, as you can see, and you know it's 11:33. I haven't really had breakfast yet. Uh, just watched some club penguin, but um, I thought, what better breakfast than can you have than pancakes? So let's just get right into this. So I'm um, so just do a little cooking tutorial, if you will. So let's just get right into this. So basically, we're just gonna read the directions on the uh, container of mix, if you will. So, yeah, two cups of pancake mix for the mix itself. Uh, one and three quarters cup of cold water, no milk necessary, and an egg. And then you're just gonna wanna place that bad boy on the griddle until it bubbles back over the surface. So, Hang on, I'm gonna do a little Labyrinth Jammies here with the mix, if you will. Let's just get right into this, okay? So, hey guys, we got all of our supplies. We got our mixing bowl. So, I'm just gonna get you guys at a better angle, so, yeah. So, hey guys, we got our little... Yeah, I gotta back up a little. We got our makeshift tripod. It's actually with a spring candle. But let's just get right into this batter making. So it's just because we're two cups of mix. So let's just take our bag here of mix. And uh, we're just going to get two cups. It's a little tricky. I'll just actually pour it. You know, that will be more efficient. I'll just get you in the shot. Okay. You can get a little spill spillage here and there, but you know the old saying goes, "Messy cooks are good cooks." So just don't fret. Just roll the punches. So, there's our first cup. Just pour that bad boy right in your bowl, and now we'll go for the second cup. Just pour that bad boy right in. Give it a little pat. That's a good technique. So I really get your maximum amount of uh, mix, if you will. And we're just going to put that in there. So there's our two cups of mix. And what's next up? Um, one and three quarters cup of cold water. So I'll be at the sink and I'll be right back. So we got our first cup here. And now we'll go for the, uh, what is it, three-quarter cup. Here's one. Here's two. And we're just going to plop this guy right in for our third quarter. So now we've got all the water we need. And now for the final ingredient, if you will, or step, if you will. Uh, we're just going to go right for the egg. So we're just going to open this bad boy up. Got our egg here. Not fake, as you can see. I'll give you a little sound test, as you can see, but um, I'm just going to crack this bad boy open, uh, and a little lesson for you mothers at home, uh, have your children crack the egg into a separate container, just in case they get into, they get any shells in there, you just don't want that in your batter, so let's just crack this egg. Doing it in my cup container, one cup. So yeah, perfect crack. And we're just gonna pop that right in our batter. And now we're just gonna mix this batter. So I'll get back to you guys once we have our spoon and we're ready to stir. So hey guys, we got our spoon. Uh, you can use this shape, but uh, you can use any type of spoon. You know it. It's just your bourbons, but um, yeah. let's just stir this bad boy. So we gotta mix it and seal the batter smooth. So, uh, just mix that bad boy. How are your guys' days going? I hope they're going swell. We should have another banger out today, including this one. We're gonna do a 50th anniversary for my grandparents as a keepsake. But so um, yeah, I want to view some of my family members, you know, just some acquaintances. You know, it's just gonna be a great video. 
But uh, yeah, once we get all the lumps out of our batter, we should be ready to pour. And if you guys want to add some pizzazz to your batter, I recommend getting the jeepers. Sorry, that just fell out. I recommend getting your Toll House chocolate chips or any brand of chocolate chips. Uh, it's just your preference. But, um, yeah, let's keep on stirring our batter. And then once our batter's all Gucci, we're just gonna pour a, you know, a healthy amount of chocolate chips in your batter. So, yeah. Okay, that should be good. And then, once you get your chocolate chips in there, um, actually, I think we need a little bit more, just to be safe. Once you get your chocolate chips in there, um, you can mix them up. So, that's exactly what we're going to do to this bad boy. So, just stir all those chocolate chips in. And, um, yeah. So, it's looking pretty good. I hope this turns out good. And we'll make for a great tutorial. And it'll just be an instant banger. So our batter's looking nice and stirred. So now I'm gonna get you guys over to our cooking station, if you will. So hey guys, we're over at the baking station. As you can see, we got our uh our griddle, if you will. And I made a mistake. I've I should have heated it up before I did this. But, um, we're just gonna do it now, and we're just gonna roll the punches. So, yeah, we're just gonna put that bad boy on the medium high. I'd say medium high, if you will. So, I'll get back to you guys once that little fella's heated up. So, actually, guys, um, I forgot to mention. Um, you're just gonna wanna put a healthy amount of, uh, pan on there, just so you can really just get your pancakes out, or just slide them off easily. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Just spray a healthy amount. Okay, that's a nice healthy amount. And uh, yeah, so we'll just let this guy heat up and then we'll be ready to cook our pancakes. So I'll get back to you guys once this guy's heated up and we'll just get right into making our pancakes. So yeah, it's gonna be a great breakfast at uh, 11.48 uh, in the morning. So uh, yeah. So hey guys, our griddle is, um, you know what, just nice and warm. Let's just do a little warm test. Yeah, that, sh that should be good for right now. But um, yeah. Um, let's just, so take your spoon that you stirred with, or any type of spoon, it's just your preference, but, um, let's just go right in for this pouring action. So I got our, let's use our plate here, in case we get any drippies in the brasses. So, here, let's take a healthy spoonful, and place that bad boy on there. Yeah, uh, it's, you can do any size, you know, it's, it's just your preference, but, um, so, yeah, that guy's just gonna stay on the griddle for a little bit, and, yeah, so, I'll get back to you guys once we get flipping. This is the spatula I'm using. You can use any type of spatula you want, it's just your preference, but, uh, yeah. So, hey, guys, just quick update. So, as you can see... There are bubbles breaking over the surface. So we're just gonna check the bottom half of our pancake, if you will. So she's looking nice and golden brown. But we're gonna give it oh, just a little, a tad bit more time. Just better, it's just better to be safe, safe than sorry. But um, yeah. Okay, let's, let's go for in for the flip, guys. Boom! Yeah! Hey! Oh my God! Oh my God! You guys, I wish you guys were here. You guys are gonna wanna try this. This thing is golden brown, just absolutely golden. 
that's exactly what you want in your pancakes. Um, uh, any mothers out there, your kids are going to love this. They love the golden brown. Just don't overdo it. They don't like that. So, yeah, and if you're feeling a little frisky, you can add some Mickey Mouse ears. I'm not that experienced. But, um, yeah, if, you, if you're experienced, you can go right ahead. It's just your preference. But then, yeah, I'm just feeling really proud of myself that I'm doing this right now. Uh, yeah, it's just a little pick me up. Did a little. Yeah. Let's just check our lower half or other half, maybe. I'll oh, just give that bad boy a little bit more time. All right, just check. I'm just checking this compartment. Oh, that side's good looking, nice and golden brown. So, yeah, let's just go for another flip just to check. And bam, we'll place that on our plate. Bada bing, bada boom, you got yourself a pancake. So, yeah, we're actually gonna go, we're gonna go for a second one. You know, we're not gonna waste anything here. That's an important rule in the kitchen. Don't waste any food. Bada We're just gonna spray this bad boy. We'll get all the scraps off. Actually, don't want to touch that because it's probably really hot. So we'll spray this with pan. Once more. Okay, nice healthy amount. And we'll go in for our next spoonful. So let's just get right in this. Get a healthy amount. Get your chocolate trippers in there. And bada bing, bada boom. We'll add a little bit more of that thing to. Wow, this is. I didn't think this was gonna be a ASMR video, but you got yourself some sizzle action. Well, yeah, that's a nice healthy pancake right there. Uh, it's actually a little bit larger than I expected, but, you know, we're just going to roll the punches. We're not going to waste any food here. ba -dang. So I'll get back to you guys once we're ready to flip, just like the last one. So guys, we're getting ready to flip here. This is a big kahuna, so it's going to... Boom, bada bing, bada boom, golden brown again, boys. That's absolute perfection. Look, I don't care what anyone says. This is absolute professional. You know, it's it's kind of like a hash brown, if you will, that kind of texture. Uh, it just looks really good. As you can see, there's a little pocket of chocolate chips uh, in this corner. That's exactly what you're gonna want. Just have that add that extra taste in there, if you will. So yeah, I'm just feeling really proud of this masterpiece. And yeah, it just shows, it goes to show a little perseverance in the kitchen, and you're just going to have yourself a grand old time uh, begging, and you're just going to feel really proud of yourself. So, let's just check on the other side. She's not quite there yet, so we'll give her a little more time. Oh, uh, that's another tip, just give your, let well, your pancakes have their time. Well, they'll just, they'll actually do the work for you. So, yeah. Let's just check the other side again. And I think we're about ready to flip here. And bada bing, bada boom. Boom. Beautiful on both sides. Okay. So now I'll throw away everything. I'll clean up everything. And I'll show you guys the finished product. So I'll see you guys then. So hey guys, B1K here with the finished product. Let me just get a focus on this round down. There we go. So here is our second pancake that we made. The first one is a little bit camera shy. You know, he or she is hiding under the second pancake. But um, yeah, as you can see, it's a little bit golden brown. It looks uh, brown on camera, but in real life, it just looks light brown. So we'll just get a little panorama, if you will, of the pancake. So yeah. And now we're going to do the moment you guys have all been waiting for, which is heading over to the trying station and trying this bad boy. So let's just get right into this. Hey guys, I'm over at the trying station and I didn't really add any pizzazz to the spank I didn't add any syrup. Uh, just didn't prefer it. And I didn't add any butter because we didn't really have any softened. So we're just going to have to go into this. Uh, plain, uh, test, I guess. 
So let's just get right into this. So first, first bite, and it's going on gamer. Oh, here's my dog, Ali. He loves to be on camera, even though I've never had him on camera. Okay, we're just tearing a little piece off here. Okay. I can't really, I can't seem to, I can't, I, okay, okay, okay. okay. We got a piece. As you can see, it's not fake. It's all real that I made this, okay. So let's just go in for the bite. Guys, you have to try this. Any mothers, any dads, any children, you have to try this. This is this will be great for a family gathering. Your grandparents' fiftieth anniversary, uh, Mardi Gras, um, uh, birthdays, any holidays, uh, Good Friday. This it's just a preference. Tom. Oh my god. So, first off, you get the fluffy pancake taste along with the chocolate chips, and it's just, just great. We're just gonna go in for a swig of water. Oh, I can't get copyright. Gotta take off this label. Okay. That's just really good. Um, thank you guys for watching. That was my tutorial on how to make a pancake uh, for any gathering, if you will. And um, uh, we should have another banger coming out today, which is my grandparents' 50th anniversary. So if you liked this video and it helped you, leave a like on it down below. And if you have any suggestions for videos, uh, place them in the comments. So as you saw, hopefully, uh, we did our suggestion by our loyal viewer, Corbin Smith. So yeah, and we should have Epic Nerf Trick Shots Part 3 in the works. It's in high demand by Ben is Random. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next banger.